and welcome back to my goat hunting adventures loading my speed loaders 100 grains a 777 a 250 grain shockwave and 209 primer and the sunrise in unit F and it's pretty chilly January pretty pretty cold And loading my uh, Thompson Center Impact SB 50 cal. The way I hunt, well, sometimes I spot and stalk, but um, most of the time I just um, post up and I have various spots that I go go to and I kind of just wait, um, either catch them high or, you know, sometimes just wait. Sometimes they, they, they feed up, they start feeding up high. Um, th this area is, the, the whole unit is kind of steep, so it's hard to hunt. You just got to... Um, kind of catch them in the right area and so it's pretty much a waiting game and with the muzzle loader i try to be like 100 yards and in, in uh, to take the shots right there and then i use uh, my phone scope it's just a, like a 40 dollar uh, pursuit spotting scope and on my old iphone 7 um, and the footage comes out nice and i, I just kind of glass i can glass um like 180 degrees pretty pretty good glassing area so i kind of just watch them sometimes they just pop out of nowhere so um the thing about um, hunting this area is it can be super slow and you just wait and then all of a sudden they'll just pop up. So you just got to kind of keep glassing. They, they might just come up around the corner. So I don't really give up. If it's like I, I get there and it's I don't see anything, I just wait. And then sooner or later something pops up. Of course, you got to bring the MREs. And then um, this is an after work hunt. Nice billy popped up. And I was looking at my watch and I was thinking, hmm, should I go get him? So I was kind of watching them, looking at my watch, and I had, once it turned like kind of broadside, I, I had my gun up, hammer was cocked back, and crosshairs were right on them, but I decided not to take the shot. I, I was thinking I could um, shoot it, and you know, if it, it was getting dark, I could just go get it in the morning, but oh man, I had to pass it up. So much things are running through my mind, but um, yeah, I just decided to decided to pass it up, and always another time. I might end up kicking myself at the end of the season for not taking the shot, but oh well.
Yep, really nice billy. <clears throat> it didn't even know I was there, just cruising along. I had all the time in the world to take the shot, and it was in a pretty good spot, like um, pretty much the same spot that I shot my other goat. And this is another day. Got my breakfast or my brunch. And just enjoying the view. Always try to find the tree and just hang out there post up. My glass is uh, Vortex Vanquish. 10 by 26 it's like the cheapest vortex binoculars you know me i'm all about cheap optics but they work and so i was <clears throat> watching this group and uh, they're kind of going away it looks like a like a nanny and the kids so just kind of watch them And then I have my yearly staring contest every year, same thing. We're trying to see who blinks first. So this is another day, uh, evening hunt after work on uh, Monday. So this, this unit, you can hunt uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and state holidays. So it was super slow. I glassed, the, I can glass almost 180 in this, this, this area that I'm sitting down. And nothing at all. No acti activity. And then I heard some shots. And I like it when I hear gunshots because that, that's when they start moving like the shots are even they're, they're pretty far away um but then out of nowhere uh three just popped up so i just sat and waited for uh, an opportunity to arise and here's the pretty nice billy that i see every year uh still trying to go after him but he's still there every year And then they started moving away from me. So this is about, um, I'm gonna say about 100, maybe 130 yards. And then they, they just kept on going 130, 140, 150. And then they uh, disappeared around the corner.
after about uh, an hour of waiting, uh, one one more popped up uh, right under me. And this unit is really hard to hunt because you got to wait until, you know, they're in a good broadside position. They're in a uh, area you can recover it and, you know, you can get down safely. And then, um, you know, when you shoot it, you got to make sure it, it, they don't um, fall off the cliff. So this was my um, opportunity. So I just waited for a good uh, broadside shot and it pretty much stood there. So I was just taking my time setting up. And so I waited, um, it kind of moved up and it was quartering a little. So. I had a lot of time, so I just waited until it uh, was in a better broadside position. And then it turned, uh, perfect presentation, so 83 yards. So I took the shot and it dropped and super bummed unfortunately it um it rolled down the cliff um you know i waited for the best opportunity um you know it was in a good place i thought uh it was, it was pretty flat and still it rolled down so i mean super bummed but this unit it's it's hard to hunt so um that's hunting Gotta learn from it and try again next time.
and this is my muzzle loader setup it's a thompson center impact sb uh, 50 cal uh, 3 to 9 by 40 loophole vx freedom a duplex reticle and i got it with a vortex rings on a worn base and it's zeroed at 100 yards and i use a cabela's shooting sticks And I use the Strelock uh, Pro Ballistic app just to show me um, a holdover. I got a holdover at 150 just in case right where the reticle gets thick. And in January uh, 2023, they opened Unit F for daily hunt hunting. So you can go seven days a week. So in this spot, there's always action. Uh, so what you got to do is you just got to wait till they uh, come up high. They feed their way up, up to the grassy area, usually in the afternoon, evenings, or sometimes like uh, first thing in the morning, you can just get, sometimes you, I catch the whole herd on the grassy area. And then it's, it's like, take your pick. And I shot a lot of goats on the first thing in the morning on the grass. So uh, evening time is good too. So. Uh, like these um, uh, billies are fighting in the e um, evening time and they're kind of uh, chasing each other and they're going up I was like oh yeah they're going up and then they would run back down then go up then run back down it's kind of cat and mouse so I just kind of waited it out but uh, they, ne they never did come up high but yeah that's what you got to do in this area And this area is super easy to get to. It's like about a one minute walk to the truck. So that's why I like it. You can go in the evening, shoot a goat and clean it and be out of there. And here we go, this is closing day, January. Uh, last opportunity to make it happen. So um, went after work just for a quick one and hope to get lucky. And it was uh, raining pretty good like yesterday. I, I wanted to uh, 
come yesterday but it was like storming so uh now the weather is good so because the the goats don't really come out when it's raining so hopefully they're out today so i went to like my glassing knob and i seen some and then i came to this uh, island and then i just saw one just feeding um by itself and so i figured just um kind of going to the edge it's, it's on my left so i kind of the island kind of hid me so i kind of peered over and then set up for the shot I'm ranging it right now. It was uh, about 80 yards. So doable with the muzzle loader. So here we go. And I need shooting sticks because um, due to my like injuries from motocross and mountain biking, I can't shoot prone. Just, my body doesn't bend that way anymore. So shooting sticks vital tool and got a good uh, shot off uh, felt really good and it dropped right there and it was kicking a little bit but yeah pretty much just dropped and it's kind of lucky because right there if you, you know it kind of runs it's going to run right off the cliff so you just got to Hope you put a good shot on it and it drops right there. And I'm reloading right now just in case I need a follow up shot. But none was needed. And now I'm heading down looking for the uh, best way to retrieve it um like i said before this unit is real sketchy so you gotta watch uh what is good is after the rain and it kind of it's drying up a little so it's real the ground is real tacky so there's a lot of traction and i made sure i, I wear my good uh, boots when i come here because yeah it's kind of gnarly so i'll just have um some of the raw footage just going down so you can kind of see what it's like you just got to take your time uh, make sure your footing is good before you put all your weight on it and you if you're gonna grab onto rocks you just double check make sure it's not loose so i triple check my steps and i triple check what i grab onto over here because yeah it's kind of gnarly this is like the gopro effect it um uh the GoPro doesn't show the steepness of it. It's a lot steeper than it looks like um, in person. So here I'm like, I'm almost sitting down, you know, you just, it's super sketchy and with all the rocks and stuff. So you just gotta, just take your time. So it's kind of lucky I um, took the shot early, so it was still about like uh, roughly about 4.30 ish in the afternoon so had time I don't want to come down here in the dark so
made my way down safely but um, that was the easy part now I gotta take this thing uphill lucky it wasn't a big belly so it would have been crazy probably would have to cut him down there Closing the and meat in the bag. Closing day success. It's pretty sweet. Got one on opening day and one on closing day. <laughs> 